This is pure wickedness, honestly. And I want you guys to agree with me on that. Because of 300,000 rounds, that's like 7.4 million naira and little fraction. A Nigerian release the quickness of a very popular South Africa politician. Her name is Zanili Sifuba. That's her name. She's a speaker of the ASC Free State Legislatives. And guess what? Uh, Bekus we just did everywhere on social media. I understand most of you will make fun of this, but let us be completely honest. Everyone gets their own sexual pleasures. And as an adult, you are free to express that in whatever way you please. I am not blaming her one bit. One bit of making that video with that said Nigerian guy who is still very much unknown. So, Zalinelli, I think she's in a relationship with a Nigerian man, mostly online. So, they decided to do a video call and uh, decided to, uh, to get a little bit freaky online. And I think they have so many other videos as well because I it's, it's impossible for us to think that it just happened one time or they just saw each other one time. I believe they are in a relationship. And according to how it was written, this guy asked for 200,000 rand. That is amounting to 7.4 million naira from this woman. And the woman said she doesn't have it. And this Nigeria guy decided to release this video that's according to this according to the report so let me read it according to our leader ek wrote it they said it was alleged that the young nigerian male released the tape after she allegedly refused to pay 200,000 rand's blackmail money the scandal apparently started with the leakage of screenshots from the actual video last week Central News report that the Economy Freedom Fighter EFF have condemned the insensitive circulation nude image of what appears to be those of the Speaker of Free State Legislature. The party called for the arrest of the person responsible for the tape leak and uh, they want the person to be persecuted. Of course, this woman knows exactly who that person is. So they should ask her who you do take with so that they will go uh, arrest the person. But anybody that is coming out to mock the woman, honestly, it's about time we stop mocking people over these kind of things because as long as we start tagging it and mocking it, people will still have the demand to go and be releasing other people's uh, video as well. But in a relationship, you do video. You, you want blackmail the person and in Nigeria for that matter. You don't explore other Nigerian name. Other Nigerians who want to get one or two sugar money for South Africa, maybe will just help their life. You don't explore their image. Maybe they don't get the intention of blackmailing. You don't explore their image. Now, Nigeria. Nigeria. Although the, there was one that was released in 2018, it was also a Nigerian guy. Well, kindly leave a comment below, guys, and let tell me exactly how you feel. But honestly, I wholeheartedly do not blame this woman. She was expressing her sexual pleasure, so nobody have that right to say, "Oh, why did you? Why did you?" And if you ask for the video, I think the video is on Twitter. You can check it out there. I'm not gonna show you nothing. I'm not gonna send you nothing because this is very, very implicating. Then. Uh, of course, you heard about portable that, that uh, you know, in Lagos recently, he, I don't know what happened, but he went to perform in Lagos, and apparently his car was damaged. Now, I believe I said portable, don't para out. The guy no one let them hear what though. The guy made a video recently shouting, cursing, and calling out whoever I don't know. But the guy was really, really pissed. You go, you go, you go, you 
Bila ya jawa da Yusufu. You go call it. Rasaki. Oh, no, I see me go to Jawa. Oh, it is a bad thing. But I don't go. Mama, go out. But money, I don't do bad. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. Why, yeah, I eat. Well, what's the Tell me how you go. Tell me how you put it. Go station. If you don't go to Jawa, you don't Change your money. Jawa, you want. Or I can't go. You can go state. Well, now tomorrow, I'm go kill me. Say, go. Any more Los Angeles or go para? Oh my mother, don't spoil them. Wo, get sorry the para. Iyai, wo, it's on the collect the Jesus. The baby, I'm sorry, I'm a collect. Shut up. Oh God. Oh God, what about it? Oh God. Now wow, why now? Why well, you not know, go destroy Party Bukan now? Now you know the letter, they come online, they boost. They toss everybody will collect. Although it, it's, uh, it's very implicating for him to be coming online, to be ranting like that, say everyone will collect, will collect, will collect. It's quite unfortunate, but if now you will go, you will vest now. Uh, you will vest now. How about? You just see Pesci car, just destroy like that. And he came to perform in Lagos, I think so. And after the performance, that was when uh, he decided to leave. Maybe he, he was having an argument with someone. And uh, they broke his car. Now it's coming out to shout. And I think he knew exactly who broke his car. Who smashed the, the, the screen. I, knew, I think he knew exactly. That's why he's calling out names. But let's move past that and uh, check out this this story <clears throat> this guy said last year i pissed off a nigerian babe in uk i sent her one thousand pounds to go and pamper herself and i also told her i was sorry for letting her down she sent back the money and told me it's your time i need and not your money some nigerian women are just top notch listen again in Nigeria, people, you know, this time to the real for Nigeria, people. He said, she, he said, I sent out 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds, now 1 million and some fraction now. 1,000, 1 pounds, now 1,000 naira. 1,005 naira. So 1 pound, 1,000 pounds, one, this guy sent this girl 1 million naira. Tim Pampa said, this babe sent that 1 million naira back to the guy. And the babe tell him, say, see, no be your money I want. Now your time now I want. Damn. Chow. Chow. Hmm. This one they kind of beat me out they wish for. Kai. Be me I love you. No be money matter. No be money love. <clears throat> At time, love. Kai. Even some men, nobody about say he get or she get or she no get. Even some men, they get money past the guy, they will see carry on, pocket on. Kai. God bless us boys with such girls. Can I hear you say amen? And I check this out, check this one out again. This one is about, uh, it's coming from uh, Usaya, UV, who is uh, part of. Uh, of the Kowas aid, he said, My friend arrested his girlfriend for doing abortion without his approval. I just got to know that an abortion without the owner of the pregnancy consent is punishable under the law. So, ladies, when you think of committing abortion, make sure you seek for your boyfriend or husband approval. If not, you might see yourself in jail. My friend is also considering arresting the doctor for not seeking his consent before killing the, his unborn child. Both the doctor and the family of the girl are currently pleading for forgiveness. But my friend is yet to say anything. Thank you for this information. This man, thank you for this information. He gets some babe to just go terminate pregnancy anyhow. Because he the get mind, he one. So, this kind of information will really, really help us well, well. Kai. 
thank you for this information and uh, I think it's useful to all guys. All those guys be the thing say they get small money, go to do abortion. Before you know it, if small, small quarrel like this, they don't shout. I don't go and kill this baby. I will go and terminate it. If you if you mess me up like this, I will just leave you and flush it out. Flush. Uh, uh, okay. Well. Now I know about this now. And in case you get one babe for the bill, I say you like, you find way well. Just knock a bele. Knock a bele. If she ventures, if she won't go terminate pregnancy without your approval. <laughs> Wahala. This one has good news for, for for all those guys made the one. Whatever you want to do, this is really, really good news, guys. So please. And I check this one out, guys. This guy said, had the gist of this guy that told his babe that he has only one million naira to spend on their wedding. According to him, he hoped the budget to one million because the lady's family were having a bad financial time. But the lady insisted one million is too small. So the guy canceled the wedding and jacked back to UK. Let me have a bit of background so you can see that boys are trying. The would-be best man told me his friend initially wanted a very low-key stuff cost money no two day. And the fact that he is the only one to shoulder everything. It was hard of I want to satisfy my baby than make him shift ground only for her to say one million self no go reach. This is a woman that will not be spending a dime on. Even the school they applied to for masters as a means to jack her after the wedding. It was the guy footing all the bills. You get? Well, uh, I think the guy made a really, really, uh, really, really good decision. That woman should go. May she go meet guy. Make she go spend the uh, twenty million naira for wedding. You know, see, I, I am not blaming the woman. No. Everybody gets their, they call their coat according to their size. If the man don't get ten million naira to spend for a wedding, okay. Leave the man and go for another man maybe spend 10 million naira. After all, all fingers are not equal. If a guy break up with if a guy break up with guy because of money, I, I don't know why guys the best. No verse put. Let the girl go meet the other guy make him money now. No verse. Everybody get their own what they can handle and what they can.